I'm just wired to keep digging until I'm convinced I know the whole story. Are you going to go through my trash? Are you running a private business out of here? Absolutely not. Is this an inquisition today? You want me to get raise my hand and put my hand on the Bible? What about the use of campaign funds for your daughter's wedding? Senator, do you have an answer about the use of campaign funds for personal purposes? No answers at all, Senator? Governor, this involves one of your banks. Should the public not be allowed to listen in on this? I, 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 I was just looking around. Yes, sir. Just looking around? Yes, sir. You're not here for the meeting? I'm going to go back to my office now. But you were here for the meeting? I came. I thought I might sit in, yeah. Shamblet tells her followers not to worry about their children's self-esteem, instead worry about what she calls their God-esteem. In the case of young Joseph, investigators say that meant his parents repeatedly locked him up in a small room with just his Bible. Does Remnant advocate locking children up for lengthy periods no, of time? No, no. That, we don't advocate locking them up for any period of time. Absolutely right. not. I have a tape of a telephone call between you and Sonia Smith. Uh, this is Sonia Smith in Atlanta. Sonia! I got to speak with Ted Anker. That's you. That's me. I did exactly what Ted told me to do. Take everything out of this room. We got everything out of there and locked him in there from that Friday until Monday and only left him in the room with his Bible. That tape has been yeah. made or tampered or whatever, I d totally deny that, is that absolutely that has untrue. ever been said by anyone. And that's a miracle. You've got a child that's going from just bizarre down to in control. So I praise God. And you had a chance to tell her that was not correct. That was not on there. Instead, you said, praise the Lord. No, that was not on there. This is what we found Metro employees playing slot machines. Go. Oh, don't let's go. Don't get rough with me, sir. Let's go. This is public property. Get out. Please do not touch me. This is St. Patrick's Day. Now, what's wrong? You're not answering the question. Were they playing what? for money? Are you so uptight about St. Patrick's Day? Were they playing for money? I mean, what kind of problem do you have on any holiday? Were they playing for money? Make? And obviously, you have a problem. Were they playing for money? Issues there that you just don't understand. I mean, you, I mean, you don't want to understand your own issues that you know that you have. Were they playing for money, John? I mean, I don't know why. You can't see what the holiday is all about. You have Metro employees in a Metro office on Metro time charging a fee that's going into your pocket. It's a gratuity as I see it. Out here on the interstate, interdiction officers have a choice. Conventional wisdom is that the drugs come in from Mexico on the eastbound side, but the money goes back on the west. It looks like that they're not concerned about stopping the drugs, that they just want the money. That's what it looks like. Is that the case? And that shouldn't be the case, but that's but what it looks like. Inside internal emails obtained by News Channel 5 Investigates, we found evidence that here, inside Tusculum Elementary, some of the young children were allowed to drink lead-tainted water for an entire school year. Dr. Joseph, can we ask you a couple of questions, please? Seven weeks after our first interview request, we caught up with Dr. Sean Joseph at the downtown library at a news conference where organizers announced he would be available to answer questions. But after Joseph spotted our camera, the Metro Schools director bolted for a back door looking for another way out. Dr. Joseph, why will you not answer our questions, sir? Why will you not answer our questions? I just don't have time at the moment. We can schedule a time to talk. Uh, we've been asking for weeks for a time to talk. What? Uh, I'm, I'm, now's the, the, not the time, Mr. Williams. We, we have been asking for weeks. How are you doing? The, the question is, uh, how are you handling sexual harassment allegations in the district? Well, that, that's the important question. Yeah. We'll, we'll find time to talk. I appreciate it. God forgives, but you know, the people of Nashville don't have to. And I also want to ask for their forgiveness. Tonight, in an emotional interview, Nashville's mayor admits to an extramarital affair. That affair with a Metro police officer who headed her security detail. You were Sergeant Forrest's boss. Why did you not say at some point, if I'm going to have this relationship, he needs to be removed from my detail? No, that was a mistake. And I should have. There was also this post where the man said he was, quote, not a whore, but a hoe. One is a slut, the other is a prostitute, adding, I'm the one that gets free weed for giving, 
than a reference to a sexual act. And it was liked by Lieutenant Governor McNally. Yeah. I don't recall reading the part about the, the uh, weed, I know that. But what about the prostitute? I might have, I might have read that. Well, we have evidence of him charging taxpayers when he's golfing. Do you approve of that? I don't think you've got any evidence of him charging taxpayers when he's golfing. That is what we all came to see, isn't it? But Michael Brooks' email shows he had tickets to the PGA Championship in May 2021, specifically including Thursday grounds tickets. His timesheet shows he charged taxpayers for working that Thursday from 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. And take a look at his work calendar from June 24, 2021. It shows he was scheduled for a round of golf at 10 a.m., yet his timesheet shows he got paid for working from 9 to 11. Again, red flags. Oh, yes, yes. This is a huge inconsistency right here. Up on the 20th floor, we step out into a part of Capitol Hill culture the public never sees. The man in the red tie lobbies for a number of clients, including the private prison giant Core Civic and its millions of dollars in state contracts. I'm sorry, sir. Gentlemen, this is a private event. You're welcome to be downstairs, but this is a closed event. So, so the public is not allowed to see what's going on here? This is a private event, sir. I hope you'll have a blessed day. Thank you so much. Well, I, I was hoping for a different outcome, but I think that says a lot. Special interest lobbyists are able to stay in the room with the Speaker of the House, but because we had not shelled out 250 bucks, we're being picked of the street. How are you, sir? We wanted to give the East Tennessee Republican a chance to respond to the findings of our latest investigation of Tennessee's Capitol Hill. Uh, as I understand, you admitted to sexually harassing this intern. Give me just five seconds. Okay. Okay. In fact, Scotty Campbell already knew we were investigating some serious allegations. Hold on just a second. About his relationship with at least one legislative intern, although he would soon divulge there was a second intern. Which direction do I need to look for okay. your camera? Just look at Please. me. I grew up in this community. I raised my son in this community. I want to make sure this is a better place to live.